Cyberpunk 2077 is now playable on Mac. Not through streaming, not through a translation layer, but an actual native version. But before you rush to download it, there are a few things you need to know because it won't run on every Mac. What up y'all? Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Cyberpunk 2077 on Mac now that it has an official Apple Silicon port. This video is part tutorial, part PSA, because while this is amazing news, a lot of people are going to find out the hard way that their Mac isn't compatible. First off, this only works on Apple Silicon Macs, meaning a Mac with the M series chip in it. So if you've got an Intel Mac, your only real option is Boot Camp, which will let you run the native Windows version. But honestly, I'm not sure what performance would look like on there. But even if you do have an M series chip, here's the catch. You need at least 16 gigabytes of unified memory and macOS Sequoia 15.5 or later. Anything less isn't supported. So I believe the base models of the M1, M2, and M3 Air only have eight gigabytes of memory, and then the M4 Air finally fixed this with 16 gigabytes for the base model. But if you're unsure of what you have, let me show you how to double check what yours is real quick. So on your Mac screen, if you go into the upper left hand corner, click that Apple logo. Click about this Mac, and here it will show you the specs of your Mac. Right below chip, you should see memory. As you can see, mine is 32 gigabytes because I have an M1 Max. Okay, if your Mac meets the requirements, here's where you can actually get the game. It's available on the Mac App Store, Steam, GOG, and Epic Game Store. Now personally, I loosely recommend Steam, and I say loosely because I haven't used any of the other stores, so I don't know how they compare to Steam. But Steam is good because of their return policy. Don't quote me, but I believe it's as long as you have under two hours played and own the game for less than two weeks, you can get a full refund with no hassle. Again, I've never used the other stores, so I don't know what their return policy is like. Also with Steam is the ability to mod the game. Again, I don't use the other stores, so I don't know how easy it is to mod or if you can even mod the game at all. Now real quick, I'll show you how to get Steam and the game. So it's pretty simple. Go to this page, I'll leave linked in the description. And once you're here, you can click install Steam and it should have the Apple logo next to it. Hit allow. Then we can go to our downloads folder and double click the Steam DMG. Drag Steam to our applications and then in our applications, find and double click Steam. Hit open. Steam will update. Now you might see Steam is open in the bottom right hand corner, but nothing's showing on your screen. Just be patient. Steam just takes a minute to load up and then soon you should see this screen. So if you already have a Steam account, you can log in. And if you don't have one on the bottom right hand corner, you can click here to create a free account. So I'm gonna log in real quick. And once you're logged in, we can go to the search bar, type in cyberpunk, then click if you just want the base game or the combo with the DLC. It's gonna make you verify your age. It'll bring you here. And then if we scroll down, we can see that it does have that native Mac port from the Apple logo. So you can click add to cart, view cart, continue to payment, type in your stuff. It'll show up in your library and then you can download and play from there. And there you have it. Please let me know in the comments what Mac you're using and what the performance you're getting is like so others looking to play know what to expect with their specific Mac. Also share this video to others looking to play cyberpunk on their mac and last but not least subscribe for more mac gaming news and tutorials and that's about it see ya